Oh, hi again. I'm Chaz Smith, and I hate surfing. Now, there's something that happened just days ago that is important for us to address no matter how painful, how hurtful it might be. Kelly Slater, the world's greatest male surfer, 11-time world champion, countless accolades, praises, achievements that the 53 and a half year old from Cocoa Beach has achieved during his life. Yet, days ago, Kelly Slater lost on, uh, I think it was, yeah, he made it through the elimination round at the Hurley Pro Sunset Beach, made it through the elimination round, went to the round of 32, wherein he lost even after he threw one of his patented carving backside 360s. Afterwards, of course, he was depressed. His legion of fans was also depressed for good reason. And then, bombshell. Kelly Slater hinted at retirement for the 26th consecutive year. 26 years Kelly Slater has either said outright or maybe whispered that a retirement is in his future. Now, of course, of course, surf fans know that time is not infinite, or time may be infinite, but humans aren't infinite. We aren't infinite. We are here for a certain amount of time under the sun. We toil, we grow old, we die. Kelly Slater, though, has seemed to defy this basic fact, right? Can you picture a time in your life when the 54 and 3 quarters year old was not not only surfing professionally, but in a singlet. Surfing professionally on tour. It is almost impossible to imagine, and the thought of him not being here anymore, I think we have taken his retirements lightly thus far. Who could forget when he retired after Joel Parkinson retired just to throw smoke on the Australian great? Who could forget when he Retired, I don't know, he probably retired when Bethany Hamilton got her arm bit off by a shark, let's be honest. Kelly Slater loves the spotlight. The spotlight loves Kelly Slater. Uh, but again, we have taken all of these previous retirements with big old grains of salt. We see him out there surfing. We know he cannot stop. We know that this wheel of perpetual motion, Kelly Slater, the professional surf tour, will roll and roll and roll. Except this year, it feels a little bit different, does it not? I said at the start of the season, and I'm gonna stand by this, maybe controversial, but I say Kelly Slater will never win another World Surf League championship tour heat in the rest of his life. Let that sink in. No more heat wins, no more feeling that pulse of energy that you get from smashing a man half your age into the water. I got you. He doesn't got it anymore. It's over. So, that being said, how does it make you feel? Be honest with yourself. Look yourself hard in the mirror and think, can I go on if Kelly Slater doesn't? Again, he's been such a part of our lives, a part of every professional surf memory that I have in memory. I can't picture life without Kelly Slater. I don't know what it even looks like. I don't know where we go. So as much as you might think that we are mocking the greatest surfer ever, of course we're not mocking him. We need Kelly Slater. We need Kelly Slater as much as Kelly Slater needs us. So I can only hope that uh, his rich friends, his billionaire buddies, are feeding him the platelets or plasma or whatever it is that rich people do, or the take like blood boys or whatever. You heard about blood boys? I hope Kelly Slater has a blood boy, to be honest. I need Kelly Slater. I need him bad. It's hard for me to admit it, but it's true. Does the sun come up in the morning? if Kelly Slater is not in a singlet? That's an honest question. For decades now, we haven't needed to know the answer. The time is coming though, I feel it, 
blood boys and all, the time is coming where Kelly Slater is not going to be with us on tour. We have a few minutes to let this sink in. We gotta process it. We have to think, what then shall we do? How does life look moving forward? I don't have the answers for you today, but hopefully soon I will. Until then, I still hate surfing.